outside. I can see that there are more of them outside than inside this hall. Thank you all very much for your love for the NDC party. First, I will go through our 120 day social contract. The things we'll do in the first 120 days after we leave Independence Square on 7th January 2025. And then after that, I'll call our General Secretary and uh, Chairman and Nana Jane to join me up here so that we launch the manifesto. So, um, one, we'll put in place a robust code, code of conduct and standards for all government officials in line with the principles of ethical leadership, modesty, humility, integrity, and accountability. We will nominate all our cabinet ministers for parliamentary approval within the first 14 days in office. We would have named all our cabinet ministers. We will constitute the leanest and most efficient government in the history of the Fourth Republic in the first 90 days in office. We will hold a national economic dialogue to discuss the true state of the economy and prepare a homegrown fiscal consolidation program to guide the budget. Number five, we'll commence the drafting of needed legal amendments and preparation for the implementation of the 24-hour economy policy under the office of the president. Number six, we'll establish a, a, an accelerated export development council which I will personally chair to promote exports as part of a broader strategy for economic transformation. Number seven, we'll convene a national consultative conference on education with CHAS, NAGRAT, NAT, CCT, NAPS, CETAG, Vice Chancellor's Ghana, Prinkoff, TEWU, UTAG, PTAs, students, think tanks, academia, parents, and other stakeholders to build consensus on the improvement of our education sector, including the free SHS. Number eight, we'll scrap the following draconian taxes to alleviate hardship and ease the high cost of doing business in our first 90 days in office. One, e-levy. Two, COVID levy. Three, betting tax. Four, emissions levy. And we'll review taxes and levies on vehicles and equipment imported into the country for industrial and agricultural purposes. Nine, we'll introduce the no academic, academic fee stress policy for all first-year students in public tertiary educational institutions, in universities, in technical universities, in polytechnics, colleges of education, nursing training institutions, under our no fee stress initiative. We will budget for this, and the money will be given to the Student Loan Trust. It will register all the level 100 students, and it will pay the money to their universities on their behalf, so that they don't have to go and pay anything. It will be a grant. It will not be a loan. It will be a grant, so they don't have to pay for it. Ten, we will introduce the, social the following social intervention policies. One, free tertiary education for persons with disability. The Ghana Medical Care Trust fund, which will be a fund that will help uh, uh, the, uh, the treatment of kidney ailments, uh, hypertension, uh, heart disease, high, high blood pressure, and all those kinds of things. We'll commence, within 120 days, the distribution of free sanitary parts to female students in basic and secondary schools. <laughs> Eleven, we'll institute inquiries or forensic audits into the following matters of public interest. One, MPP's collapse of indigenous Ghanaian banks and financial institutions at a supposed cost of 25 billion Ghana cities. We'll institute an audit into the illegal printing of money by the Bank of Ghana to finance the corrupt Akufuado by Omnia administration. We'll in investigate 
the 58 million National Cathedral scandal. We'll investigate the COVID-19 expenditure scandal. We'll investigate corruption scandals including the PDS, EJAPA, SML, Ambulance Spare Parts, 13th African, All African Games, Skytrain, Palubu Dam, Mass Sets, Galamse Fraud, Missing Excavators, Missing Tricycles, Illegal and Inflated Single Source Contracts, Bus Scandals, and many, 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 many others. We institute a government policy banning all political appointees and politically exposed persons from buying any state assets. We allocate seed money within 120 days for the establishment of the Women's Development Bank to support women-owned and women-led businesses. We will launch the following job, priority job creation programs in the budget. The first is Ejumara. That is the entrepreneurial project to promote 10,000 young entrepreneurs and mentor them. The One Million Coders program will roll out a Made in Ghana agenda to promote the production and consumption of locally produced goods, particularly through leveraging of government spending power. Fifteen, we we'll review the Customs Amendment Act 2020 to scrap the law banning the importation of salvage vehicles to rescue the local automotive industry in Swami Magazine, Konkompe, Aboso Okai, and all others. 16. We will lay before Parliament a new bill to usher in a new era of government scholarship administration, which will, among others, prohibit political appointees from accessing government scholarships and eliminate political patronage, cronyism, nepotism, and corruption in the world of government scholarships. We will make the scholarships process transparent, publish the names of everybody who is given a scholarship so that the whole country will know who are getting those scholarships. 17. We will aggressively confront... That's number three. Number three is not a small position. We will aggressively confront the illegal mining menace and place a ban on illegal and new mining activities in Forest Reserve and roll out our Tree for Life and Blue Water Initiative to heal and sustainably harness the environment by turning areas and water bodies degraded by illegal mining into economic and ecological recovery hubs. 18. We will launch the Black Star Experience. Unfortunately, the paper on creative industry couldn't be read because we have run out of time. But in there, there's what we call the Black Star Experience. It's our major creative industry and tourism uh, 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 initiative. So the Black Star Experience will be launched. It's an initiative as Ghana's flagship culture, arts, creative industry, and tourism brand to transform Ghana into a preferred hub for creative industry and tourism. 19. We will commence investigative processes to purge state security agencies of all militia and vigilante elements who are causing havoc in our country. 20. We will reopen investigations into major unresolved criminal cases, including the 2020 election killings, Ayawasu West Wagombai election violence, murder of Ahmed Swale, and Silas Wulo Chame. 21. We will initiate a probe into the man-made disaster caused by the VRA spillage from the Akosombo and Corn Dams that displaced and destroyed the livelihoods of thousands of citizens in the Volta region. And we will take immediate steps to provide compensation for the victims, including those in the lower Volta, those in Oti, those in Buno East, those in the Savannah regions, and other areas that were affected by the flooding. Ezu, we will carry out a shake-up we'll shake of all loss-making SOEs and realign them to break even and transition into profit-making. This is our social contract with the people. A lot of people ask me, you're going to find an economy in a mess. How are you going to handle all this? We're going to realign our expenditure 
We are going to cut out uh, waste. We'll realign the budget so that we can create more fiscal space in order to finance these projects. We're going to use innovative methods to raise the resources so that we can finance these, uh, these progress. We're going to prioritize, strictly prioritize, and select the most important projects that will create imme immediate benefits for the people of Ghana. We're going to put our money where our mouths are. That is what a new NDC government is going to do. <laughs> Ezu, <laughs> Ramadan. <laughs> Zamukara rana huta wa guda chini ana uh, turawana chira holiday Zamukara guda a king idol fitter don shi un waya nga sun kwance yo sun ci salla yo waranda sun kwance gobe suma su samu su ci sallan su Ezu Ezu Yo de hausan kano na yazo so sai ba wasaba At this juncture, at this juncture, I want to invite my running mate, Professor Jinnan Opokwajima, our national chairman, General Mosquito, Johnson Asiedu Ketia, our general secretary, Fifi Fiabekwete, and our minority leader, the Honorable Atu Kesil Pawson, to all join me up here so that we can launch the manifesto. Yeah. Uh, where is the parliamentary candidate for Winneba? Join us up here. We are launching two versions of the manifesto today. The manifesto itself and then the braille version for the visually impaired. We are launching both today. So on behalf of the good people of Ghana, the national executives, the rank and file of the National Democratic Congress, and the youth and women of Ghana, I have the honor and privilege to launch the 2024 Resetting Ghana for Jobs, Accountability, and Prosperity Manifesto today. I consider it duly launched. 